yesterday like i'm actually thinking of picking her up and i know a lot of people are saying that and they probably won't be playing you know the character after once the dlc hype is Bayonetta gone has actually, been the center of huge controversy games, ever since her release uh, uh like what two months ago she's been the target of heavy complaints in the smash Bros. community from just all type of people in our community from new players to content creators to even top players bayonetta is dominating the competitive scene and many people are even discussing a ban from tournaments but if Zero's video taught us anything, it is that we should rather focus on learning the matchup instead of complaining. That, that kick, that could have been it. Oh, I'm Pete. calling Mr. Arcus. You better be mashing that hard button, taking him all the way to the side, and that's gonna do it. Pick fresh beats, Mr. R. Pink Fresh just won this past day to do it. He beat Tyrant, and the truth actually beat Tyrant too, which was a surprise. But they did it using Bayonetta. People discredited Pink Fresh for winning, saying that, you know, he was using Bayonetta, Bayonetta's completely broken, blah blah blah. As if he hasn't won tournaments before, as if he wasn't already a top level player in our region. People defend Bayonetta just because she's flashy or looks cool, but in reality, it's the same combos just in different order and automatic while the other person has no option but to die. Maybe for someone who doesn't know what's going on, that's fun, yeah, but for the players, it's not. It's really not fun. Call me a baby, a whiner, or whatever you like, but this is my real ass opinion on the topic, and I'm tired of being quiet about the topic because it's convenient for my PR to do so. Bayonetta players keep telling people to stop complaining. Why? Because they don't want their character nerfed. They also can't admit she's currently the best, even though it's so obvious. Those same people will complain as she all day hoping for a nerf, but when they are on that spot, they can change the topic real quick, huh? That's the Harlem That's the we need to learn how to actually dissect character hate and separate it from player hate. Because I have seen, in the past 24 hours, uh, every imaginable obscenity level towards uh, Saj, and he is hands down one of the nicest people. Question uh, the veracity of his gameplay, you know, uh, how, how true of a player is he? How good is he at what he does? Was he anybody before? Yes, he was. He's taking games off of Rio, he's taking games off of uh, M2K, he's taking games off of Anti. You know, he was, he was a prominent player before, but he switched over and he became a larger threat with a better character. No one should be surprised by this. Next day, Katar happened tonight. Salem almost won. He got all the way to Grand Finals losing Bayonetta. Didn't completely win the whole thing, but again, a lot of people saying he's carried by his character. Bayonetta's stupid. Nairo and DeBuzz only got 13 17. This is bullshit. How is this guy winning? I don't know how many of you guys know Brawl History because False just made that uh, the Kickstarter for the documentary, and if anything has been. If I've learned anything in the past month of casting, it's that a lot of people don't know what happened in Brawl. Salem has won in Apex. You guys know that, right? An international event featuring hundreds of players, the best players in the world. Apex, he won that. 
So, the Spanish competitive Smash Bros. scene is considering a ban on the character Bayonetta. So yeah, most of our community wants her gone since she's basically extremely toxic and overpowered. Bayonetta is, bar none, unequivocally, unchallenged, best character in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. She has tools that no other character within the franchise, let alone within this game, has the ability to do. If you need to learn how to talk to a lady, ask your mum. Patch 1.16, and in this one, the queen, Bayonetta, the witch, has been nerfed, nerfed, and more nerfed. Pretty much everything that you can think of, and what makes Bayonetta good for the most part, has been nerfed. Look. Bayonetta is just not that good of a character. Hey, what's up everybody? He said we were going to do another video. This one a showcase of Bayonetta's new awful special moves and how good SDI is against her in 1.1.6. Her neutral is now bad and she doesn't get the crazy combos. She can't witch time you at zero and kill you. She'll kill you at 70 because charge smash attacks. But now she has to like get in and deal damage to you when you're not scared of pressing buttons against her because all of her hitboxes are Ding dong, the witch is dead. And yeah, things are going to be a lot tougher for Bayonetta players going forward in the future. 